Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Welcome back to another uh, episode of Nerd Studio. And today, the guests that we have with us come from Vantech, and they are the Vantech HX4. Now, one might ask, what is an HX4, and why does that look so similar to the new Mac Pro? Well, I think that's actually just a coincidence, but the HX4 is a solution for mass uh, for people that produce a massive amount of videos but they're also on a budget so what I have here is a pizza a can of coke and a glass with ice cubes and coke in it and then two Vantex what do they have to do with each other well nothing at all I just wanted to film a video and talk about these Vantex while I wait for my pizza to cool down so I can eat it. So these are great solutions. Vantech also makes a model that has RAID, which is redundant array of inexpensive disk. Uh, basically, uh, with RAID, what one can do is uh, create a backup of a physical drive. So if drives are in a RAID array, if one drive fails, if RAID works as configured, it should enable that data to be recovered. So, meaning that there's a mirror image in a RAID uh, mirroring scenario, drive one is mirrored to drive two using RAID. So, this is something that I've created because I was on a budget. I got both of these out the door, you know, everything said and done, shipping all of that for around 154 bucks total, not a piece, total. So both of these, and these, each one of these can hold four hard drives. So it's just really, uh, it's just really cool that storage is so inexpensive now. Now what I don't have are the serial ATA drives to go inside of these, so I've got to do that. But I'm going to add them in pairs. So when I add, when I add one to this, I'm going to call this my backup. And I'm going to call this my primary because everything that I have on my primary is going to automatically mirror to a drive in my backup. So if one of these fails, I've got the exact same data replicated on the other unit. And that's important because I have, I have thousands of gigabytes of, uh, of HD video. So, you know, when you're running a large, uh, a large YouTube network like Irish Guys Adventure Channel, you know, we're, we're talking a, uh, a full-fledged video production company here. The only difference is we don't have the big, uh, the big budgets like the Discoveries and the Travel Channels and all that have, but what we can do <laughs> for a few hundred bucks is create our own data storage solution that backs itself up on the secondary unit. And like I said, I'm a Mac guy, so I'm going to use disk spanning. And I'm going to do that within disk utility. Basically, uh, these are going to function as I add more drives. Say once I get to the point where I have four drives in my primary, I'm also going to have four drives in my secondary. And the way I'm going to do it so I can add disk storage as, as my budget allows and as the need arises, I'm going to start out with just two drives in my primary and then also two drives in my secondary. So what will happen these two drives within disk utility, I'll use uh, disk spanning, and I'll combine those two physical disks within Mac OS X to appear as one disk. And that's just more convenient because you don't want to have to say, okay, well, for this video project, I got to drive, I got to browse to drive one. And for this video project, I got to go to drive two, and this one, drive three, drive four, etc. It just gets really confusing. With disk spanning, regardless of whether it's two disks or four physical disks, it's going to appear, uh, as far as Mac OS X is concerned, as one disk. So when you go into Final Cut Pro 10, I'll go to this and I'll probably call it something cool like the uh, 
the biggest uh, storage device in the universe or something like that. And then when I go to that, I'll know that I can find all my video there. Now, as far as backup is concerned, because I don't want to risk having all my HD video, all my thousands of hours of HD video in this one unit and a drive filling. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to use Apple Time Machine for this. I'm going to make sure that this disk, this collection of disk, is automatically backed up to the collection of disk in here by way of time machine. So in theory, if this if this drive, if any of the drives in here failed, I would have everything here and I could recover. You don't want to be in the video production business and encounter a scenario where you don't have a backup of your video. So for that reason, and I think my pizza is about cool so I can stop rambling, but I mean, these things are incredible. And I mean, just look at how cool they look. I mean, imagine this on your desk. <laughs> People would be like, man, what's that? Yo, dude, those look awesome. Well, they are awesome. Because number one, they're cheap. And number two, they're somewhat low profile. And I love the way they have these, uh, these fans built in with adjustable fan speed. So if it's, you know, you can really keep your, uh, the thermals of the serial ATA hard drives within very, uh, very nice so I mean I, I couldn't be happier I mean as you can tell I am I am beyond stoked with this investment in data storage I mean this is <laughs> wow I mean just look at that I mean it is uh, I had some dust on that I had to get it off don't want to taint the uh, the visual effect of this device. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash guy and share this video and any of my videos with others. And be sure to check out the Iris Guys Adventure Channel store too. I got a lot of cool t-shirts on there and, and some other cool swag so uh, you, might, you might like that. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.